Hello fellow horror enthusiasts, welcome to another horror game. It is indeed spooky season, so we'll be taking full advantage of the spirits wandering into our realm at this time of year. Today we're playing a game called Teke Teke Moonlit Dread. This is based off a Japanese urban legend. I think it's called Teke Teke? Tiki Tiki, Teke Teke. The following pronunciation is brought to you by pronouncenames.com. Teke. I'm gonna keep calling it Tiki Tiki because Tiki Tiki sounds a lot cuter. All right, I must be a programmer. Oh, look at this, I'm coding some Python. Hmm, yes, I'm a very smart individual who knows how to do those kinds of things. I mean, maybe I built this game. Maybe I built the game that we're playing and we're playing inside a game. We've trapped ourselves inside a video game. All right, I've got a notification. Let's check what it is. Mysterious brutal incident, fucking hell, I ain't reading all that. Asahikawa, Japan, a man was found with his body cut in half near the station area of Asakawa City in a shocking incident that was baffled the police. The victim looked like he was chopped by an axe and blood was everywhere. Some people have suggested this incident may be linked to the urban legend of Tiki Tiki. A ghost of a woman who was cut in half by a train and now haunts the station areas. However, the police have not confirmed this rumour and are still searching for the truth. They have asked the public to stay calm and alert and to report any suspicious activity or information to them. This is unbelievable! How could this happen? I got another notification. I, I am a popular person. I'm in demand today. Reminder, get groceries. Damn it. I almost forgot to get some food. I almost forgot to feed myself. Oh, I live in a very humble home. Look at this. My only possessions are a fan, uh, a bookshelf, and some clothes, which seem to be two-dimensional. Interesting stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna wear two-dimensional clothes, but so be it. A bedside table with a lamp, a bed, curtains, a big fan. I got two fans. I got a fan here and a fan here. I, I am a man of many fans. And I have a laptop with a donut which is uneaten. I am a wastage individual. Open the chest of drawers. Well, I have my grocery list. Two milk, one olive oil, one white rice, one Two instant ramen, cereal tea bags, snacks, and dish soap. Where am I gonna, where do I have dish soap? I don't have a sink. So where would I wash my dishes? Ah, the stars are out. So maybe we can see some constellations in the sky, my friends. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, the constellation of I don't fucking know. It's so, I can barely see anything. Maybe this is how Teke Teke likes it. He likes it dark. She doesn't, it's a she. I got to remember that Teke Teke is a she. She doesn't wish to see her victims when she kills them. So when the victim is getting killed, all he can feel is the chopping in half of his own body and nothing else. Oh, the flickering lamp. Very, very classic horror. It's almost like it's Halloween. Okay. Hello! Hello! It's the police. Whoop! Whoop! That's the sound of the police! Oh, if I can, old woman, you scared the shit out of me. How dare you? Can I assault you? That is my cereal. Not yours. Huh? Ha! Huh. It's trying to hit the gritty on me, aren't you? Why are you following me? Alright, the old woman's tales come true. Run, young man. Well, that's not ominous. Let's see what else they've got in stock today. They've got some cereal. There's a lot of cereal. More cereal than a man needs. Oh, look, there's frosted. Are they frosted flakes? Oh, look, it's like. Ah, oh, it's toothpaste. I know that. That's Colgate. Have you heard about Teke Teke? Oh, no, I haven't. You mean the urban legend? But it seems that legend has turned into reality lately. It's absolutely terrifying. Tonight, right here in this town, if she appears, you won't escape her grasp. Be careful, young one. She is very shady. I don't like what she's doing. She seem she's just walked through the- She's the ghost! Did you see that? Am I the only one who saw that? I think she's the ghost, guys. She is the ghost of Teke Teke, and she's gonna brandish her sickle or scythe anytime soon and just chop me the fucking half. There's a freezer with nothing in it. God damn it, I really wanted to get my Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I've got my two instant ramens. Got more snacks. I got I got bear snacks. I got I got I got snacks for days, mate. Snacks for days. Oué la milk, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. That was French for those of you that are, that's her unaware. Where's the milk? Where's the milk at? This is this this has turned into an absolute catastrophe. I can't find the milk. I'm like the dad that went out to get milk and never came back. What's in here? Oh, it's a toilet. It's good to see that it's kept clean. It passes my inspection. Uh, olive oil? There we go. 
Wonder what, wonder what you're using that for. <laughs> where is my, where is my milk? Oh, I've already got it. Oh, do I pay? Do I just leave? Am I robbing the place? 24 a.m. p.m. <laughs> I think that means it's open 24 seven. I do hope they have more than one cashier because that'd be an awful lot of working time for the poor lady. Right, where is the tech, where, where is the, t I was gonna say, where's the teke teke? She's probably killed the cashier for all we know. Hello, I, I require to pay you. Good, good kind madam. I am here to pay you for the groceries. Hi. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I came here to settle my bill. So please return to the store and wait there. Okay, cool, got it, got it, got it. That didn't sound too good. Lady, did you not hear? I think a car has crashed into the shop. Let's go and see what happened. Hello? Oh dear, there's blood everywhere. Great. Good. This night just got a whole lot more eventful. Hello, sir. Are you alive? I mean, do I have to interact with this or do I just leave it here? I think I just leave it there. <laughs> Fuck that, that's not my problem. <laughs> just leave the, leave the blood-stained car up there. Right, let's go back into the shop. You told us to wait in here to settle our bill. Here we go. Hello, lady. I, I'm here to pay for my gro- I could have ran off with them, to be honest. Good evening, I'd like to pay for these. Good evening. There we go. 2,750? My god. What is wrong with the economy? I, I, we just ignoring the fact that there's a fucking car crashed into the, the lamp pope. I- Lady, I'm locked in. D did you lock the doors behind me? That is a very awful prank. I mean, I guess I'm gonna stay here for the night then, if that's good with you. I'll, I'll just stay here and eat whatever I desire from the shop. Because I'm locked in. And I don't have a key. Oh! What the f- Is somebody in here pooing? Behind the door, maybe? <laughs> there will be an unflushed poop in the toilet. We shall not know who put it there, or why it was not flushed down. A train ticket. Oh, interesting. Can I leave now? No, I still can't leave. Hello? Oh my god! It's the te- It's the teke teke? Please, I didn't mean no harm. Okay, I am innocent. Teke teke, I will, I will provide you with whatever information you desire. Hmm? How about that? Hmm? I can be your source of information! Let me out! Let me out! Please! Ah! ah! What the fuck? That's the shopkeeper! <gasps> I see you! Fucking hell, I can hear you. I can... Oh. Is there something here? It's gotta be glowing for a reason, right? A car key. Okay, that's great. Let's drive away. That- that'll be- that, that would be ideal. I don't think the Teke Teke could catch me in a car unless she runs like Sonic the Hedgehog. Which she could be. She could well be Sonic the Hedgehog. We don't know. I got in the car! I'm safe! They call me the best video game player of all time. Oh shit! I think I ran over the Teke- I think I ran her over. I think she's dead. I see that as an absolute win in my eyes. Ending two of two survived. Is there another one? Should we try and get the second one as well? Oh, there it is. There's the scythe. How do you chop someone in half with a scythe? Because it's like pointed, right? So even if you went like down, it would just stab them. It wouldn't like murder them, right? It seems that we have to die. That's what we have to do. Woo! <laughs> I keep, that keeps scaring the shit out of me. Every, I've played this already. I've already gone through this checkpoint. And I'm, I'm still scared. We never found out the meaning behind this. This, this just happened for no reason. The guy's dead inside. Uh, maybe I should try and go home. Maybe that's what happens. I can hear him scuttering around like a little spider. <laughs> you don't scare me, Tiki Tiki. You don't scare me. Ah, so I can go back towards my home. 
Maybe she's waiting for me in my house. That'd be terrifying. Oh, I see you. I see you, Tiki Tiki. You ain't slick. Okay, yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> ah! Fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh, that was a horrible jump scare. It gave me shivers. I've got like the raised hairs on my arm. Ugh. Dismembered. Oh, cool. That's death, I guess. Welcome to driving home. We are alone. Driving home. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? It was a Thursday, November the 16th. I was working late, of course. Just like, I drove home. That's a good sign. It's a good start. Oh, are we driving the car? Well, I love it already. I love it already. Can we warm the tires up? Left and right, side to side, up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. Something seems off here, and I don't know what it is. I don't like it. There's just something about driving through the woods on my own. If I had someone else here with me, it'd be fine, but I'm not. I'm on my own. We will not be, we will not experience fear unless being given a reason to experience. I don't know what those signs are. I can't read signs. I did pass my driving test, but I can't read signs. We will not experience fear unless given a reason to fear. Big, big brain. Big, big philosoph philosophical quote there from Adem Gaming. I bet, I bet you that we're going to run out of fuel. That's, that's going to happen. That's, that's going to be a thing. I, I could called it. I called it on command, on command. And the radio stopped as well. So we lost fuel and we lost the vibes. Great, great. Fucking, fucking terrible boys. Terrible. And the lights are going out as well. If the, if the lights go out, that's illegal. So the police should really come and arrest us. I'd rather be arrested than killed. That's for sure. I've, uh, the engine's gone. And the fuel, the fuel is... Bit. That's it. We're dead. We are dead. Death is upon us. I don't want to exit the car. I don't, I don't want to exit the car. I'd stay here until morning. But the game gives us no choice. Unfortunately, waiting till morning is not an option in these horror games. So we will therefore be progressing through the deep dark woods by ourselves, not in the safety of our car. We should, we should just get back in and lock the doors and then go in the morning, right? Because it's not just horror things that could happen out here. There could be anything. There could be bears. Oh, we can crouch. That's good. So maybe, maybe we'll have to do some sneaking around. Sneaky picky. This shouldn't be called driving home. It should be called hiking home because that's what we're doing. We are, in fact, now hiking through the woods. Fun fact, in the UK, this line here means no overtaking. No overtaking. So you're not, you cannot pass other cars or drivers on those lines. The car is now out of sight though. So that is a worrying thought. Oh, look at this. Huh, there's an intersection. There's a turn off. Is it a gas station? No, it's someone's house. Why is there someone, why is there someone living here in the middle of nowhere? Hello, is anybody home? I require assistance. Is there anybody in the building? Can you imagine you just look outside and some guy with a torch is just... Oh, maybe I'm the bad guy here. Press E to knock on the door. Let me in! FBI, open up! I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Okay, well, that's maybe they're sleeping. Maybe they're catching a few Zeds. Maybe they're honk shooing. Honk, honk memeing. I saw a back door which was open. Really weird. Well, not if you me. I am a regular home invader. Thought maybe I could find a telephone to call for help. Oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be that would be ideal. Yeah, a phone to call for help would be a good move. I I, I am just walking through someone's house though, so that's not weird at all, is it? Mobile phone. Hmm. Okay, this has turned into a robbery simulator 2023. If someone found me, they're well within their rights to just shoot me on sight. Because in this scenario, I am the bad guy. Oh, a bedroom with no one here. I need a phone. A phone. A phone. Somebody got a phone. A phone that I can use. Oh, there's a phone. Well, that is extremely comforting. I need to find a garage key. Is that what I've got to find? I didn't find no key. Ah, here we go. A key. Oh, maybe that's the garage key. Tell you what, call me Sherlock. Because I'm coming home. Ah! 
I don't think I've screamed that much at a game for a long time. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. And that's great. There's dismembered fucking body parts on the ground. Uh, just the, just the normal Saturday night. Oh my god, are they eating them as well? Oh, fuck you now. Okay, I wish I didn't come across this. What, what coincidence is this, right? You come across someone's house in the middle of the fucking wo of the woods and they're just dismembering humans in here. I just want to get get back to my automobile, please, sir. Let me leave. Let uh, let me leave. Run! There's nothing following me. Nothing came out of the house. I swear to you. I promise. Yeah, just I just get in the car. Honestly, I just get in the car and fucking not even bother fueling up for the moment. We're sp we're sprinting away. Run like the wind balls are. I need to be Sonic. I need to be speedy. Speed. Huah! Fuel! Fuel! Get in! Get in! Get in the car! Get in the car! Go! Go! I made it. I did it. I can't be touched now. I'm in the safety of my car. You come out onto the road, I'll run you the fuck over. Let's do it. Let's see how that turns out, shall we? Unless he crashes into me with his car. Something seems off. Something seems extremely off. Ah! Did I die? I don't I think I think I died. Hope you enjoy spooky season. I'll probably upload some more horror games this month and uh, in preparation for Halloween and that. But yep, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, click right here to see a video where I've played some more scary horror games. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.